I was contacted by the makers of Dakota Lithium Batteries and asked if I would do a review of one of their batteries. I accepted and they sent me out one of their 12 volt 10 amp hour lithium batteries. This battery is the same size as our typical uh, 7 amp hour or 9 amp hour uh, sealed lead acid batteries that we use in our kayaks to power our fish finders. I'm a fan of lithium batteries and I switched uh, about a year and a half ago uh, to lithium over the sealed lead acid batteries. There's a number of advantages to the lithium batteries over the uh, sealed lead acid batteries. One of the advantages the lithium has over the lead acid is weight. The lithium generally come in almost at half the weight of a, a lead acid battery. So depending on what size battery you're going with, um, especially in a kayak, uh, the weight savings can be uh, considerable. So I weighed the Dakota Lithium and I got a weight of two pounds, 15 and a half ounces compared to my sealed lead acid nine amp hour battery, which came in at five pounds and about seven ounces. That's about half the weight of the lead acid battery. Dakota Lithium states that their uh, batteries will last about 2000 charge cycles, where your typical sealed lead acid battery may, may last about 400 charge cycles, which gives you about, I guess, five times the, the life with the uh, Dakota Lithium. Dakota Lithium says that uh, you can wire their batteries in parallel so if you uh, need more amp hours, you could uh, take two of their 10 amp hour lithium batteries and wire them in parallel and theoretically get 20 amp hours of uh, usable power. That's not typical for uh, some of the lithium batteries that I've seen out there. Um, some of the other batteries that I've seen say that they can't be wired in parallel. So I guess that's one of the advantage over some of the other ones. I'll provide a link in the description box below to uh, Dakota Lithium's YouTube video where they show you how to wire their batteries in parallel. One of the other advantages lithium has over uh, sealed lead acid batteries is usable power. And by that, I mean uh, your typical lithium battery will use about 97% of its usable power where a uh, sealed lead acid battery is somewhere around 70 percent and by comparison if you have uh, your typical let's say a typical fish finder using one amp hour of uh, power if you want to compare uh, a 10 amp hour lithium battery to a 10 amp hour lead acid battery your lead acid battery will probably only uh, last about seven hours before the voltage drops below an acceptable power level that your that will run your, your fish, fish finder, where the lithium uh, should probably give you about nine hours of, uh, of usable time. Here's a little discharge comparison chart from the Dakota Lithium Battery website and give you a little idea of how the lithium battery discharges compared to how quickly a sealed lead acid battery will drop off. For my little test, I'm no expert and I don't have all the uh, fancy equipment to run diagnostic tests on batteries and everything else. But uh, for my test, what I did was I fully charged both my uh, 9 amp hour sealed lead acid battery and the 10 amp hour uh, Dakota lithium battery. Now, I realize there's a one amp hour difference and uh, the Dakota lithium has an advantage over sealed lead acid, but they're fairly close. So I hooked them both up to uh, Lorenz Elite 9 Ti and I set both units to um, simulator mode and just ran them until each battery died. So here's the test. So for the first test, the lead acid lasted for about four hours and 20 minutes, while the Dakota Lithium made it to eight hours and 55 minutes. 
and test two again switch things up a little bit and recharge the batteries and just switched them on the binders uh, lead acid made it to five hours and 15 minutes while the Dakota uh, made it all the way to eight hours and 20 minutes so the final results Dakota lithium lasted an average of eight hours and 37 minutes while the lead acid uh, lasted an average of four hours and 47 and a half minutes the Dakota lithium 10 amp hour battery sells for $99 on their website there are discounts uh, if you purchase more than one uh, the discounts go higher the more units you buy uh, according to the website um, some people will say well I can get a lead acid battery a lot cheaper and that's true you can but uh, when you compare the fact that the Dakota lithium battery will last five times longer than your typical sealed lead acid battery and you'll get anywhere between 20 to 40 percent more usable power out of it when you compare your dollars to I guess overall amp hours in my books anyways buying a, a lithium battery is cheaper the fact that you can save weight considerable weight depending on uh, how many batteries you use and the type of battery you use is a big plus for me I was getting to the point where I was had three lead acid batteries wired in pa parallel uh, in my kayak to run one of my units and uh, it got to be quite heavy so in conclusion is the Dakota lithium 10 amp hour battery worth it I think so the weight savings the, the extra power compared to the lead acid of the same size I think they're well worth their money Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave them below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Again, I'm no battery expert. I just use them a lot in my kayaks.